What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Katie and today we are going to be doing our high priority savings challenges. So we have $269 to work with today and I'm hoping we can finish up at least one challenge today. So I'm going to be super excited if we can do that. But I also wanted to note that this monster savings challenge, this is from the Thrifty Sewist. I was doing this in our low priority savings challenges to save for school for my kids, but I now move school savings to high priority just because um, I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? This year I kind of had to stress a little bit to get enough money to pay for school and I don't want to do that next year. So I'm going to go ahead and move school to high priority so I can go ahead and start saving more money for it. So we're actually gonna start with this challenge since it's a scratch off. I like starting with scratch off since we don't really know how much we're gonna save. So um, this is from the Thrifty Sewist and it, there's just these cute little monsters here. And again, I'm using this to save for school for my boys. So I think today we're just gonna do two. So I'm gonna do these, um, the two eyes on this monster here. This is a lower income. So these numbers have been pretty small. All right, so that is a two. And this one is an eight. Okay, so that's perfect, so $10. So that'll be nice and easy. I won't have to use ones for that. So can you see that? $10, so eight and two. So we're gonna grab $10 here for this challenge. And um, I forgot to take that envelope out of my low priority binder and move it into my high priority binder. And I don't have that here with me. I have to go get it. So I'm just gonna set this aside right now and I'll stick that in the binder later on. All right, so next is Where's the Cat? So this is from Life with Bobby. And this is a, an adorable scratch off where you have to scratch off all these circles. And then when you find the cat, you save $25. So last time I filmed this video was the first time I did this and I already found the cat. So I had to pay $25 last time. So this time we're just going to do the regular numbers. So they won't be as big as 25, but we are using this to save money for an extra debt payment. So um, even if we do get some bigger numbers, that's okay. Cause we want to put money towards debt. So I think we're just gonna do this one next to the cat. All right, so it's a five. That's awesome. And I think we're gonna do two numbers today. So let's do this one. All right, it's a 10. So that will be $15 that we're putting into where's the cat for our extra debt payment. So, 10, 15, these are easy numbers so far today. So my debt envelope's in here and I'm just gonna stick this in here so it can wait until we finish this challenge. So we now have 20, 30, 35, $40 and where's the cat? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. And our next scratch off challenge is this Harry Potter savings challenge. So it's very similar to where's the cat. So you have to scratch off all the circles and then under one of these circles, I haven't found it yet, will be my Hogwarts house. And whenever I find the Hogwarts house, it is $20. So most of the circles have numbers lower than $20, but when you find the house, it's $20. So I don't know if we'll find the house today. Um, Wendy from the Thrifty Sewist is also doing this scratch off as well and she hasn't found the house yet um, as far as I know. So. Um, I have no idea where it's at. So I'm just gonna do random ones that are like calling to me. So for some reason I wanna do this one, let's do this one. Okay, it's not the house, so $10. It's okay if we don't find it because it makes it more fun and suspenseful every time um, the longer we go without finding it. And then let's do this one, $5, so 15 today. And I'm using this to save for house things. Um, so anything we need for like house maintenance or we wanna buy for our house because um, there's so many things we wanna do. So I do put money into that out of our regular budget, but it's just, there's so many things that this is kind of just to supplement it um, to add a little extra. So $15 going into this sorting hat savings challenge today. So I don't know, I feel like we're gonna find the house soon. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we won't find it soon, but I feel like we're gonna find it soon. So $15 going into here for house. So let's count and see how much we have for this challenge. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 
75 so far. So we're still not quite halfway done, but 75 is pretty good. So we'll save 200 total when we finish this up. All right, so next, I don't wanna do this one yet. So next we're gonna do our braces challenge, um, or our braces binder. So I'm saving for braces for my boys, and um, this is a monthly challenge binder. So each envelope has a different month, and each month has a different amount that you have to save. So I've been doing this all year, and I'm using the whole binder for braces just because, you know, braces are expensive, we're gonna need a lot of money. So um, we are on June now, and I want to, after we finish June today, I wanna to take all of this money out of the binder because it's all just been sitting here since January. And since we're halfway through, or we will be after today, I wanna to take all of this money out and then transfer it into my high yield savings account so that it can earn interest. And then I'll finish the rest of the binder. And then if we haven't started braces at that point, then I'll do the same with the second half. I just like to learn, earn a little bit of interest when I can, so. Um, I'll move this out of the way for now. So this is the June savings challenge. So it's a summer barbecue theme. And last week I did the bonus, which was 35, and then the grill, which was 15. So that was 50, and then the rest here is 50. So for the whole month, we'll have 100. But today we have to add 50, and we have to color in these three um, items here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab 50 so I don't forget. So 20, 40, let's do fives, 50. So we'll set that right there for a second. Go ahead and add that in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and color these so I know that it's finished. All right, so I got that one colored in. We are finished and now we should have 20 or $100 in this envelope. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. So we have $100. So now let's go ahead and clean out all of those envelopes. All right, so we have all of our months here and we'll go ahead and um, put all of the money together and then we'll count how much we have total um, for the first six months for our braces binder. So I'm pretty excited to see how much it is. So this is January. I'm not gonna count each month. I'm just gonna um, try to put the bills in order and then we'll count them. This feels so good already. Okay, so let's count and see how much money we have saved so far for braces. We're getting crooked on everything over here. Sorry, guys. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 20, or no, <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So $570 saved so far for braces. I'm just gonna quickly recount that and make sure I'm correct. Yes, so I recounted it and it is $570. So that is so amazing. This is how much money we have saved for braces so far. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm gonna put this money back into the bank, into our high yield savings account because it is all finished up and now it can earn interest. And then we will work on the second half of the binder starting next month in July. So that's so exciting. All right, so next, um, I want to do our vacation binder, but we should, I'm hoping, have enough to finish it today. So let's go ahead and finish that as well. So our last two numbers are 70 and 40, so that's $110 that we need. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 10. So we'll put our 70 into this butterfly, because this is one of those big old Mac Daddy butterflies. 
$70 in there. And then we need $40 for this butterfly. So $40 in here. So we are now 100% finished with our vacation savings challenge. So this is a 1K savings challenge that I got from Pink Cash Budgeting. And it was actually from Jerry at One Frugal Int Introvert. I won this in a giveaway from her. And this challenge right here is what started cash savings challenges for me. So I saw this when Jerry was doing her giveaway and I was like, that's so beautiful. So when I won, I was like, there's no way I can't use this because I usually um, didn't enter giveaways if they um, were savings challenges because I didn't do cash savings challenges at the time. But this one was just so pretty that I had to like try. And then when I won it, I was like, okay, it's a sign that I need to do cash savings challenges. So um, this is the, the challenge or the binder that started everything with cash savings challenges. So this is really special. And um, I'm going to reuse this again, but I'm not going to reuse it right away because it is a big challenge. Like saving a thousand dollars is, you know, not the easiest thing. It takes a while. So we are going to unstuff this here in just a second, but I want to finish my other challenges first. So we're just going to set this aside for right now and we'll unstuff this and make sure we have a thousand dollars. And then we will again take this back to the bank to go into our high yield savings account and we will save it and let it sit there until we are ready to use it for a vacation. All right, so our last big challenge that we have is our Save 2023 challenge, and we're using this to save for Christmas. So this was made by Madeline Budgets, and um, I'm not really sure how much money we have left, so let's see. We have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. So we have $73 left. So let's see what numbers we can cross off with $73. So this might take me a second. <laughs> so we could do this 42 and 31 and that would be exactly 73. So we might do that, but let me see what other options are because if we have a dollar or two left over, that would be nice because then we can put it into our um, $1 savings challenge for my retirement. So let me look at some other options really quick. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is this 48 here and this 22. 48 plus 22 should be 70. So for 40 plus 20 is 60, and then the eight and the two would make 10, so that would be 70. So I think we're gonna do 70 today for this challenge, and we're using this to save for Christmas. So um, after this vacation challenge is done, like which it is now, but um, after this video, this is gonna be kind of like our priority. So it's okay if we can't do like the biggest numbers today because we will be focusing on this more um, next time. So we're just gonna do 70 today. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. We have three dollars left, so that is perfect. So we're gonna put our $70 in here. This is the little um, pouch that I'm keeping my Christmas savings in. So let's go ahead and add this in. Uh, this money is like all out of order. I definitely didn't <laughs> put it in nicely last time. All right, so we're not gonna count this today. I might um, condense this a little bit because I have a ton of ones in here and a ton of fives in here. So I might condense this a little bit like off camera and then we will um, count it next time. So I'm not counting so many ones, but we do have a thousand dollar placeholder in here. So if I had to guess, I don't think we're at the next $500 mark yet, but we should be getting close to it. So we have a nice little stock saved for Christmas. So now I just need to color these, these two in. All right, so we got those next two colored in. I'm so excited. This is looking so good. We don't have that much left, but some of these numbers are still pretty big. So it's still gonna take us a while, probably a few more months to finish this up. 
but I'm so excited because this is probably the most important challenge right now. So now that we finished the vacation one, I can focus on some of these bigger numbers because the vacation binder had big numbers. There's like 50s and 60s and 70s, but now this is the only challenge that I'm gonna be doing for high priority that has like really big numbers in it. So this can be kind of our focus now and we can get this knocked out so that we have time to shop for Christmas. So we're done with that. And then our last $3 here are going to go into my IRA savings. So I have this $1 savings challenge here from Kira at Budget and Grow. And every time I have some money left over, I like to put it into this challenge. And then like today, I tried to make sure I had money left over so that I could put a few dollars in here. So this is gonna be going to my retirement savings when we're done. And um, I might condense that as well. So I'm gonna color in the next three $1 bills here. All right, she's coming along. We should have $27 in here now. So I'll probably condense this too because we have a ton of ones, which I mean, it is a $1 savings challenge, so that makes sense. So we'll kind of condense this for next time so it's a little easier to handle. But yeah, um, this saves 40 when we're finished. So that is looking awesome right now. All right, so that is all of our money. So now we can unstuff this vacation binder. I'm super excited about this. So we should have one or $1,000 once we take all the money out. So we're gonna unstuff everything and then we will see if we have a thousand, like we should. The last one. All right, she is thin again. So we will use her again for something else. So that's crazy. This binder is so beautiful. I love it so much. So I am finished with this. I'm gonna set it aside and let's count our money now and make sure we have a thousand. Like it's all bet up because of how I've had to put it in there. So it's kind of crazy, but that's okay. I hope I can count this without messing up because you guys know how I am. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one thousand dollars. This is like incredible. I cannot believe we saved one thousand dollars for a vacation. I'm so excited. Look at that stack of money. This is incredible. So um, I don't know where we're going on vacation still. Um, I know we wanna go next year sometime. It's gonna be hard to make that happen, but holy cow, I can't believe we did this, especially since um, I've had trouble saving for vacation for the past like year. Every time I try to start saving for it in my regular budget, I would like spend that money because I'd be like, oh, it's not important, we don't need to do it. So doing it this way has been so much fun and actually effective. So I'm super excited about it. I'll have to take like a thumbnail. So 
center it a little bit more. Ah, it's finished. I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me use this finder and stay for vacation. This was kind of like the highlight of the video for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so proud that we finished this. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!